Alright, man. This is the video I was the second part basically, but it's about Spanish Florida and black Indian interaction in Spanish Florida. The history of lives of non white peoples in the United States largely has been neglected all through the Spanish bureaucrats kept meticulous records of Spanish mission period in Florida. I just showed you in the video by Nina by Styles how they took Indians and, and took their babies and sold them into slavery too. So you can really tell no difference. But let's go. Uh, these records represent an important source of cultural history of these groups and offer new perspectives of the tri racial nature of frontier society. Africans as well as Indians play significant roles in Spain's settlement of the Americas. On arrival in Florida, the Africans ran away from their captors to Indian villages. The Spanish, perceiving an alliance of non-white groups, sought to separate them and pass special legislation forbidding living trading between the two groups. So they said, y'all niggas can't hang out together. Ain't this the same way they do the gangs today? When two or three or more, when two or three are gathered together, let uh, separate them. Come on, man. But, uh, uh, there were continuous episodes of violence by the Indians who resisted Spanish labor and tribute demands. Efforts to convert them and changes in their social practices. Villages were reduced to a mission, to mission sites where they could more rapidly supply the Spaniards with food and labor. Indian and black surrogates were used to fight the English and help build the massive stone for at St. Augustine. St. Augustine, probably about 30, 45, six, uh, 45 minutes from here, from where I'm at, Gainesville, Florida. The end of Spanish mission system came with the War of the 1700. English forces from the Carolinas raided mission sites, killing thousands of Indians and taking many into slavery. Taking sla Indians into slavery. So Indians went into slavery. Why they'll never show the slave movies with this? None of the Negro slavers they show with Indian. But I'm going to go. The Spaniards lacked regular troops and, re and relied heavily on Indians and Africans during these raids. The Seven Year Wars ended with the Treaty of Paris that required Spain to deliver Florida to England. So Florida, where I'm from, was delivered to England. The entire Spanish population, including the black villagers, the black, not a black, not a African, villages of the Mose and the Yamases and other nations evacuated to Cuba. So they evacuated Cuba, right? You show about that? So here's Indian of the Mose Indians. We know these dark skinned people, man. We know these mixed blood whites right here, man. We know these are dark skinned people. We know, look at it, man. We're gonna continue. We know these are black skinned people. We know these are why the hell they got red man on on the Egyptian walls when I'm looking up the Mose Indians, huh? Were these people in Egypt, huh? Huh? Jesus and Moses in India. I brought this out, man. Why they got Egyptian? Man, these are, I put in Mose Indians. Look at the niggas that's showing up. Man, this brother, me and this brother got the same color uh, skin tone, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. And look at him, man. You, I'd be damned if he ain't Asian. Mahatma Gandhi, man. All right, and also we said the Yamasee. Here go the Yamasee right here, man. So these ain't dark skinned people, huh? Huh? Look at the Yamasee, man. It's the same thing I was just talking about. Right around the corner from where I'm from. You feel me? Right around the corner. 30 minutes away. The Yamasee, the Mose Indians, and more. 
Why the hell they put this nigga up here? Why is he up here? Oh yeah, because he's an Indian. What you would consider an Indian. Man. This it. This it. Let me see. This ain't showing up, man. But, uh, oh yeah. Let me do it. I had to bring it to this Yamasi thing, man. The Yamasi Indians is a name not commonly heard by those of today's modern Native American indigenous forms. But with a little research, you will find this story one that formed some of the most important parts of U.S. history in newly made Indian nations. And new, okay, the Yamasi Indians have been described as the most fierce warriors of the Native tribes encountered, mostly known for the Yamasi Wars of 1715. I, I, I could have swore I just read the 1700s. Roughly 7% of South Carolina's white citizenry was killed. Of Moses. Yamasee. Uh, Indian Confederate nations says the Muscogee Creek, Seminoles, and Cots about to name a few. What's more interesting to an average history buff is the Congressional Series... Set by the United States government, printed the 57 contract first session of House of Representatives document numbers 179. Report the Industrial Commission of Agriculture and Agriculture and Agriculture Labor, Washington government printing year 19. Uh, 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 the Yamasee Indians wear Negroes. They're Indians, but they were Negroes. They're Negroes, but they're Indians. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? That were known afterwards as the, the fiercest of Indian tribes of the South. They say the well known Yamasee Indians were Africans. But how are they Indians and how are they Negroes and now they Africans? You see the trick they play? Now, of course, this may come to surprise to those who were told all black Indians were either slaves or freedmen, but when coming from a congressional record along with other supportive documentation, simply makes this un understandable why their existence was reported to be extinct by scholars. Because you turned them into Negroes now and got them thinking they African now. The Yamasi or the Jamasi also referred to as the Amagaricus Amogarica Khan Amogarica Khan and the Amakaris and or the Amerkaria were listed among 19 tribes as being of dark complexion. So this is one of the 19 tribes that was considered the dark complexion. Found widely scattered among the inhabitants of North and South America. I just brought it out with the sister Nina by Styles, Styles by Nina. On how these Indians were took man. All right, more specifically, the Carolinas of which were known as Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, and part of Louisiana. The Yamasee Muskegee tribe, which is now led by, okay, this is all the information, man. You can get into all this yourself. You can check this out. Uh, Mobile River, you can, man, check this out, man. All right, man. 